Rather than logic, sometimes it's a combination of both. Um, but for the most part, I feel like emotion is a strong point of, of how we move day to day and, and what we decide to do, you know, um, which is not bad necessarily. It just depends on if it's good emotions or bad emotions. But even then, still, even then, because like they, they use the term, uh, the phrase love is blind, like things like that. It can it can put you in in just different kinds of situations that you don't really belong in. I mean, it's just all kinds of different phrases for that, you know? So you still have to be careful, even if it does feel like positive emotions, you still have to dig deep and, and really listen to your intuition and know if that's the right decision to make. Even still, you know, you can't simply go off of, Oh, I'm happy. So I should definitely do this because I'm happy. Like, no, nah, like think of the bigger picture, look at the future ahead. You know, don't think about right now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming through. Um, and realize that sometimes our emotions can allow us to feel helpless. You know, it allows us to feel vulnerable and it, it feels like we don't have control over how we think or how we react. But that's not true. You know, you have as much control as you need. But like I said, when you're emotion based as a, as a human by nature, it, it becomes so overwhelming that you feel like you don't have options and when you, you, you pretty much do, you know, but it's about what option is beneficial in those moments. What option is going to give you the key to success that you're looking for? You know, it's, it's more than just that, that situation because it's deeper than that. You know what I mean? It's, it's way above that. You know, we can't just think in the moment. We got to think beyond the moment, you know, cause we're going to have several moments you know, of, of negativity coming our way or things we don't like, you know, things we're just not in favor of, things that don't serve us. And we got to know how to combat that. We got to know how to be resilient and not give into that and, and bounce back from, from our old ways of being, our old ways of thinking. You cannot keep living like the same way, being stubborn and just stuck in your ways and not wanting to move forward and be progressive. Like, and that's all that's doing when you can't control your emotions or you don't even want to, like, I understand, like, we're human. So I, I always give us the benefit of the doubt with that. We're human. Things happen. We make mistakes. You know, we, we flare up. We, we just say things, reckless things at times. We do reckless things. But at the same time, once you're aware of it, make it your mission to try to change that slowly, but surely not saying it's going to happen overnight. Not saying if you have slip ups that, you know, you're a failure. No. You're human. So take your time and, and make it a gradual process so that it has longevity. Make sure that it's a, a strong buildup so that you can have that, that solidification that you're looking for. You want to solidify that process so that it's more raw. Because if you rush through it, all you're going to do is do well for maybe a month or two and then fall right back off and be explosive again, you know, and, and react to anything and everything, you know. And that, that's not necessary. You don't have to react to everything that comes your way. You don't have to feel a way about everything that happens around you. All of this is, is just a part of the process of growth. You know, for whatever reason, I, I don't know why it's designed the way it is to where we have to go through certain levels of pain in order to grow. And we have to be pushed to our marks over and over and over again just to feel better and to, to progress. I don't know what that is. I mean, like challenges make us make us grow. Unfortunately, that's the only way we can truly grow, because if we're always happy and nothing bad ever happens, we're just going to be complacent. We're just going to stand still, you know, and I, I wish it were different, but it's not. You know what I mean? And. That's the reality of the situation. We only grow when we're tested. We only grow when bad things happen. You know, we rarely grow. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody grow through having happy memories. I don't know. They appreciate the happy memories, but I don't, I've never heard of them like saying, oh my God, like I, I learned so much from that experience. I mean, maybe they learned, but it wasn't like progressive like the adversity is, if that makes any sense. Any suggestions for sustaining change? Okay, well, when you're trying to sustain change, I would say patience is definitely the key. Understanding that this is a step-by-step -step process. 
um, consistency as much as you can, like slow, slow, slow and steady. Maybe you should do like a, a, a challenge for yourself. I know that we had done, we had actually done a, a We So Fly challenge back a while back. It was a 30 day challenge and it was something that I needed to change. It was a drastic change I was making at the time because it was very hard. And in my mindset, the fact that I didn't want to lose the challenge kept me going. So maybe you can make it like a game for yourself, make it interesting, make it fun, make it so it's not so serious. Because I find that as, as humans, when things feel too daunting, we, we, we psych ourselves out. I'm getting blown now. I'm in my zone now. You know, we start to doubt ourselves. You know what I mean? We start to feel unworthy of the changes so we start self-sabotaging we start to feel like oh i'm not capable of this change so i can't do it let me not do it let me just give up and go back to my old ways no like make it fun you know make it like a a personal conquest because this is a form of self-discovery that you're going through so understand that this is you loving yourself you're trying to explore these changes and understand look at it as an experiment so that way it doesn't seem so so serious yet you know, look at it as you in, in a stage of experimentation. And then once you figure out that it, it actually works and it's something that you you like and something you can stick to, then it'll become easier. But right now, just look at it as an experiment. Don't don't worry about winning or losing. Just more so, OK, do I like this? Does it feel better? Do I feel good with this process? And just do the process of elimination. If it doesn't work, eliminate that. Try something different. Just keep switching it out, you know, but it doesn't have to be set in stone right away. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be like, OK, this is the change I need to make and it's indefinite. I'm not new. I'm not doing anything else like this is the change I'm working on and this is it. Like, no, nah, it's too serious. Loosen up, you know, don't be so tense about it. Just give yourself the time. Give yourself the room to grow. Be patient with yourself. Like I said, be understanding of yourself and, and, and how you are and. And what intimidates you, be aware of that. Um, I would I would definitely use affirmations to affirm the process that much more. That way you give yourself positive energy to be consistent with. Because the more positivity you fuel into yourself and your mindset and your life, that change is going to be so much easier. You know, but the more negativity that's around you or within you, it's going to seem that much more intimidating. And that much more negative, you know, when it, it change is good. Change is actually very positive. It's just the way the world is set up. It makes us feel like change is bad because it's new and it's unfamiliar. And that's that's the only reason why it seems so bad, because it's unfamiliar and you're, you just don't know what could come of this change and, and what the change might be necessarily. You still don't know you're in, in the process of, like I said, elimination and experimentation. So look at it just like that. And just take it step by step, day by day, you know, and if you fall off here and there, that's okay. Just keep getting back on the horse and keep going, you know, but you got it, though. Just make it fun. Don't make it so serious. That's what I would recommend. That's that's my um, my piece on it, because that, that's what I've been trying to. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so hopefully that helped. Thank you for that question, by the way. Um, so I understand that emotions like joy, hope, interest, grief, anger fear, hurt, disappointment, you know, these are emotions that allow us to experience life to the fullest. Like I said, you know, of course, we can learn from moments of joy, but are we going to learn as much as, as, as the setbacks? Probably not. You know, to be honest with you, that's just the raw truth. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's real, you know, um, unless you know a being that learns more so from the joys that they have in their life, compared to the the moments of adversity that they have then hey let me know i'd love to meet that individual <laughs> but as far as i've known from firsthand experience i've always learned more when things are hard versus when they're easy so i don't know but to each their own you know if your brain works the other way then cool that's awesome god bless you but um just understand that these forms of emotion are are warning signs most of the time they're either to warn us to protect us to encur- encourage us or to reassure us of of the process and what we're doing you know because when something feels good and it emits um positive emotions you want to keep doing it right and if something feels bad and it influences the negativity you don't want to do it 
you know? So your body, and I always tell you guys this, pay attention to your body and your mind. They work together because they tell you what needs to change. They tell you what needs to happen. You know, it's just, we get so set in our ways. Like I said, we, we are very stubborn at times and we just, we think we know what's best all the time. And I, I, intuition is telling us hey don't do that it's not a good idea or don't go down that way or this is not a good feeling I don't think you want to keep feeling this way but we just we don't understand that you know we we just we do what we want to do and we have to learn you know so pay attention to what feels right pay attention to what feels wrong you know what I mean? And and gain control of that just because you're having a bad day like I said does not mean you have a bad life just because you're having bad emotions doesn't mean that you're always going to feel that way. Understand that any emotion in life is temporary, good or bad. doesn't matter. It's temporary. And that, that's, that's a blessing and a curse in a way because it's like, of course, we all want to have those loving memories. We always want to have good memories and, and good moments, good experiences. But life is not all good. Life is not all bad. It's not set up that way because, like I said, there's no growth in that. You have to have a mixture of both in order to progress in life. You have to. It's inevitable. We can't get around it. Um, we shouldn't want to get around it because this is your story to success. This is you becoming that person. So that person has to go from so many different points in their life in order to be successful. And I promise you, when you look back at yourself, you know, at this current stage where you are right now, and then when you're in the future and you're looking back at this person from today, you're going to be like, wow, that person really went through a lot. But I'm here today to, to say that I stood the test of time and I did what needed to be done. And I'm, I'm so different. I'm getting blown now. Because understand, we change each and every day, you know, so even if you're the most temperamental person, you can still find peace. You can still be a peaceful being. You can still turn your life around. You know what I mean? You don't have to be that person all the time. You don't have to be upset all the time. You don't have to be easily angered. You don't have to feel like that. You don't have to give into the negativity. Even the most pessimistic people can become optimistic. OK, it's all in the mind. It's all in the process of elimination, eliminating this 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 negativity that tries to get inside of us and, and stay there and grow. You know, look at it like a garden. You know, you have to get out the bad, like weed out the, the bad things in your garden. Get 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 all the toxic stuff out of your garden so that your flowers can bloom. And they can they can grow. And then we're in the springtime, which is very symbolic, guys. Well, we're getting into the springtime, whatever, if anybody knows. Yeah. So we're getting into the springtime. And that's talking about rebirth, you know, renewal, new beginnings, things like that. <clears throat> so we have to pay attention to that. Because this is the time where things blossom the most, you know, this is the time where things really take off, you know what I'm saying? So we have to really take full advantage of that because there's no time like the present. And it's just like you being that amazing butterfly, you're growing, you've, you've experienced all this hardship. Now, why not reap the benefits of your hard work? So gain emotional control. So that you can be happy because at the end of the day, that is all we all want. We just want to have moments of happiness. And I say moments because, like I said, every emotion is temporary. It's not a guarantee that it'll last forever. But we want to make it, make it last as long as we can, though. That's the goal. You know, and understand that you can. You can have more good days than bad days, but it's all in your emotional aspect, you know. It's all in your energy. Energy is everything. So... Have that that control, that stability to not give in to everything just because, you know, you might might feel a little bit anxious or you might feel a little irritated or whatever the case may be. Like, that's natural. You know, we all have that. We all have that naggy feeling where we just want to say something or we want to do something to combat. And you don't have to be so combative in life. That's not a requirement to get through situations. Silence is is a deadly killer positivity is definitely a deadly killer you could knock somebody off their feet with positivity 
you know what I mean, left and right. I mean, hook punches left and right. Hook punches the positivity all up in this thing, you know? You don't have to respond with negativity. You don't have to stoop down to people's levels. You know, understand, let them be immature by themselves. Let them be without a life by themselves because I feel like anybody that keeps up negativity or tries to provoke you or make you feel any type of way, they clearly do not have a life and are very miserable human beings. So all you can do is pray for those people at a distance, hope for the best, hope that God blesses them so that they do get a life one day. You know what I mean? Because it's a sad case. You know, it, it can be very extreme. And just understand that some people just want attention because they don't have attention in their daily life. OK, so you you don't have to give them attention. That's a choice. You know, everything that we do is a choice. They're called triggers. You know, that's a trigger that they're trying. They, they know your triggers. Some people sit around and study your triggers and they, they know what gets to you. So they keep practicing that thing. But little do they know the things that used to get to you won't always get to you because you're an evolutionary being. You can evolve and they cannot. You get what I mean? So you keep evolving and let them stay small. Let them stay complacent and be that miserable, negative, just no life human being. And you be progressive, loving, nurturing, stay on that high horse, believe in the karmic cycle, understand that God will take care of those people. And it does not require you to do a thing. I'm telling you, you don't have to lift a thing, a finger. You don't have to put a thought towards them because God knows all. God is going to take care of all of us. God knows where your heart is and it's in the right place. So don't let them get to you. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple because they don't deserve your energy. They don't deserve you at all, period, point blank, you know? So just understand that when a trigger occurs, you have to monitor that trigger and figure out why does that trigger you? You don't have to verbally say it to anyone. You can write it down. You can speak it out loud to yourself if you want, but I wouldn't recommend like responding to anyone. Figure it out within yourself. Okay, why is this a trigger of mine? What does it remind me of? What is the root cause of this feeling? You know, where did this feeling start? You know, because there is a root to everything, believe it or not. It, it didn't just happen one day mysteriously. It has been ongoing. Something in your subconscious has not been settled for a long time and you haven't figured out what that thing is yet. You know what I mean? So that's where the, the self-work comes in, the self-control comes in so that you can tame that beast or our demons, as we like to call them, whatever you want to label it, channel that. Go into that energy. I know it's scary. You got to go there, though, even though you don't want to. You have to go there so that you can fix this emotional instability because that's what it is. You're trying to gain stability. You don't want to keep being unstable. You know what I mean? You want to be as stable as you can. So you have to venture off in that direction, unfortunately, because you have to tame it. You have to fix it. You have to either get rid of it, fix it, or just find a way to live with it with the balance. You know what I mean? So just figure out whatever works for you. I like to eliminate things that don't serve me altogether, you know, in terms of negativity, you know, within my mindset, because it doesn't do well. You know what I mean? If anything, it breaks you down and you don't need it, you know, so you need nothing but positivity and love. So always keep that in mind, you know, <clears throat> and understand it's only a trigger if you allow it to be, like I said. If you allow it to be, it will stay that way. But if you don't give power to it, it can't overpower you. Just like these bullies. If you don't give power to a bully, a bully cannot have fun with you anymore. They're not going to bully you anymore because you're not responding to them. They're bored. They have no life. You know? So understand that everybody experiences emotions, like all kinds of emotions, believe it or not. Some people are, are good at keeping a poker face. Some are good at, you know, keeping holding back and, and making sure that you can't recognize the emotions that they have. You know, some people may seem like they don't have emotions at all, but you got to understand we're humans. There's no such thing as not having emotions. OK, some people put up a really good front. And hey, if that's how your defense mechanism is to get you through life, then I'm not knocking it. Do whatever works for you. I'm getting blown now. Name. Shout out to everybody that woke up on a positive side, period. You woke up and you was happy this morning. 
God bless you. You get what I'm saying? That means you're grateful. That means you're appreciative. You 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 love life. I'ma say it just like that. You know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that can't, that didn't, that can't even move around, that can't do nothing. So at the end of the day, if you if you don't appreciate that alone, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. You know, you gotta be happy just for the fact that you woke up. That's major. You know what I mean? Controlling your emotions is is big. It's very big. You know what I mean? But you know, Jamie said so much already, you know, like I always say, you know, there's not too much for me to add on, honestly, besides the fact that, look, control your emotions. The answer is in the question. How to control your emotions? By controlling your emotions. It's, it's not that hard. It's when you start thinking of it hard, it's hard. But if you, it's very easy to control your emotion. It's just like anything else. Some situations get hard, but it gets harder when you don't learn how to control them. You get what I'm saying? So it's very easy. It's not hard. You know what I mean? So shout out to everybody in the building. Now, if anybody in here want to add to that, you know, tell us how you control your emotions. I would appreciate you coming up. You know, other than that, we finna turn up. But I feel like you know, hey, we so fly. T Y B. Man, you know, it's a great Saturday, man. Loving life. I see you in a building. Miss FM, Jamie. Shout out to Shayna. Shout out to her wine queen. Shout out to that chick, though. Wake and bake. Shout out to Prezan. Shout out to Juke, my motherfucking brother. Shout out to everybody in this thing going crazy. There's so many more people in here, but you know, loving life and everybody else. But, you know, uh, I don't, there's, you know, they don't got planes in their name and it's a lot of them. So I'm just going to say, I love y'all. Everybody else that's in here, Dina, I see you. Shout out to everybody, you feel me? Also, shout out to Forex Keith. Shout out to Magnet. Shout out to everybody around the world, man. We love y'all and we appreciate y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Whole lot of boss moves only, man. We so fly TYB to the top. You know, we on a mission. You know what I mean? We on a mission. And our mission is to be the greatest version of ourselves. You get what I'm saying? Our, our mission is to be the best at whatever we do. You know what I mean? Because we don't compete, we dominate. You know? And that's for all of us. We all got something that we're doing. We all got something else that we got, that we planning. We all got different ways of attacking things. You know? So we all have our own destination to go to. Chips are hard. Shout out to Chips in the building. You feel me? So you got to be focused on your journey. Focus on your journey and apply pressure towards your journey. You feel me? There's a lot of stuff that's going on. There's a lot of stuff that's in your control. And there's a lot of stuff that's not in your control, right? So what should you focus on? Let's see. If you're smart, what should you focus on? The stuff that's in your control. Because that's the only thing that you can focus on. That's the only thing you can really do or worry about. Or work towards being better at, having more strength at. The stuff that's out your control... You know, they're either going to be for you or against you, you know? So at the end of the day, is you playing your cards right to put yourself in the right situation, right places at the right time? Because at the end of the day, your path is clear. Even when you get stuck at a dead end, like I said, you're not stuck there. You choose to stay there longer than you have. It's a dead end. You can easily reverse. You can easily go back the other way. You can easily find a detour. It's up to you to to want to think out, like how to get out the situation, you know, just like some people stay at the stop sign longer than others. You know what I mean? Even though there's a, there's a rule, but no, we're not, we know how long you should be there for. You get what I'm saying? So everything in life come with you making a decision and that decision is what's going to either lead you to success or complications. I don't like to say failure. There ain't no such thing as failing if you're still going. You get what I'm saying? You don't fail if you're still going. You're learning. You're learning. You only fail when you stop. If you gave up, then you then you lost. That's a loser right there. You get what I'm saying? If, as long as you keep going, you're going to make it eventually. You know what I mean? Um, consistency is the key. I don't care who you are, what you do, what you got. If you're not consistent, you're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. All right? You want to do this today and next, and then start next month again? Somebody else already did 10 things like that. Somebody already got it running. 
So the more you procrastinate, things don't happen the way you need it to. You're not going to be able to enjoy life the way you want to because you procrastinate and you're not giving yourself a better chance, you know? And anytime you're letting your emotions get in the way of things, it stops you from being successful. One thing about emotions, it can either help you or slows you down. But when it's helping you, that's that positive mindset. That's you being happy. That's you. You're motivated. Guess what? When you're motivated, you're ready to go. You're ready to get out the door. Matter of fact, I used to be at my job early and I used to hate the job. But you know what? I know that I had to be there. It was paying my bills and I wanted to get more. The only way to get more is to put in either more time, more energy, more work, more something. But if I do less, I'll never get more money. I'll never get no promotion. So in negativity, it's going to make you feel like, why, why am I here? If you're being negged out, if you let negativity talk to you, you're going to be at the job talking about, why am I at this job? This thing's not for me. This thing that I know. But if you're positive, you're going to be hoping for the best day, the best outcomes. If you do sales, you're going to want to make more sales than you made yesterday. Because it doesn't matter because you're there already. You understand that this is all part of life. Your situations that you're in, you put yourself there. When people tell me they hate their job, I say, why did you go there? They didn't call you. You know, most people... It's not that good at their job like that where they being called out the blue. You get what I'm saying? And this is part of building value. Some people don't understand how much it is to, like how important it is to build value. Some people just want to get, put work more hours. Why work more hours if you could build more value on yourself? You could work less hours. You get what I'm saying? So there's so many ways to do things, but we have to choose how we manage our 24 hours because that's what drains you. Not knowing how to manage that 24 hours. Good morning, good morning. I'm getting blown now. Blown in my soul now. Hi, I'm Jamie from the We So Fly Morning Show. Please be sure to tune in every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to get your daily dose of positivity and motivation. So today we talked about emotions, how to control your emotion. Because we all have those emotional moments where we just we flip the script and we do something that we shouldn't do and we say something that we shouldn't say. Understand that everything is not worth your time, everything is not worth your energy, everything is definitely not worth your emotional intelligence, okay? So just understand that there are going to be situations where it requires you to be emotional to get the advantage in life, you know? But that's not every given situation. Some situations require logic more than emotion you know rationality more than emotion and that's for the most part everything you know we have to rationalize what we do and what we say we can't just simply go based off of you know that that raw emotion and it's never good to respond when you're angry when you're sad confused anything negative you don't want to give a response because you're not thinking clearly you know you want to wait till you're calm collected you have a good idea of, of what's going on within you, first of all, figure out what's going on internally before you ever worry about what's going on in the external world. That, that emotional intelligence can help you to decipher what is worth your emotion versus what's not. You know what I mean? So only you can determine that. No harm done as long as you try to mend the situation. Everybody is worth redemption in my book, you know. Everyone can redeem themselves if, if you try hard enough. You put the right mindset behind it and, and change your perspective and be open-minded, you know. So that's all it requires you to do. Um, but for the most part, think of it that way. Be open-minded. Take a step back. Realize what's really going on. Take your emotions away from it. Think of it from a third person perspective. If this weren't you, how would you respond to this? If this were you on the outside looking in at some other person, you know, or two other people, whatever the situation may be, how would you respond and how would you, you know, look at them if, if, if it were you? How would you look at them? How would you expect them to respond, you know? So it, it requires us to take a step outside of ourselves more more often than not. It's okay to have emotions just be emotional within reason try to preserve yourself preserve your image always think of your image when you're in these types of situations it's not more so about proving a point to anyone but proving a point to yourself like would you be disappointed in your your reaction later on do your best because at the end of the day like i say you're human you're not perfect in the slightest you have flaws for a reason and that's okay you know 
But at the same time, if you need some guidance and you need some positivity and some love, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. So anytime you get in a pickle, you can come to We So Fly Morning Show and get your daily dose in and figure out what to do from there. You know, use this as a frame of reference for guidance. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, hope you all are doing very well. Stay blessed, stay safe, and uh, just live life to the fullest, you know? But I'll see you around. Bye. I'm getting blown now.